Okay, so two exam questions on modelling with quadratics, and you'll find this one is incredibly similar to the one that we've just done. So it says the height eight meet, um, h metres of the arrow above the ground. Oh, sorry, an archer shoots an arrow. The height above the ground is modelled by this formula, where d is greater than or equal to zero, where d is the horizontal distance, and h is the height above the ground. Given that the arrow, tra arrow travels in a vertical plane until it is the ground, so it's like this. Well, it's going to be doing some kind of shooting pattern like this. Find the horizontal distance travelled by the arrow as given by this model. Well, at the end, it's going to come into the ground like this. And so at this point, we could say that its height is equal to zero. So if h is equal to zero, we have zero equals 1.8 plus 0.4d minus 0.002 d squared. And I can literally go straight in with my calculator. I can put in minus 0 0.002, 0 0.4, and 1.8. And I either come up with two values. One of them is positive and one of them is negative. So I'm going to take the positive one. And I'm just going to say that d is equal to 204.4 meters to one decimal place. OK, so I can just squeeze that in here. It then says, with reference to the model, interpret the distance significance of the constant 1.8 in the formula. Well, that's because we're talking about the horizontal distance. So when it is actually fired at the start, um, it's the, the, the horizontal distance from the archer, we can say that 1.8 metres is the vertical, sorry, is the vertical height of the arrow when it is fired. In other words, this distance here is 1.8 when it initially gets fired. It kind of makes sense. 1.8 seems like the right kind of height for a person as well. Then it wants us to do completing the square. So it's going to be really similar to that one that we've done before. So we have 1.8 plus 0.4d minus 0.002d squared. So I'm going to do minus 0.002d squared. I'm just going to write it in an order that I like. And I'm going to factorise by taking out this. So I'm going to divide by minus 0.002. So it's 0.4 divided by minus 0.002, which is minus 200. So it's minus 200d plus 1.8. So minus 0 0.002, that's going to be d minus 100 squared minus 100 squared plus 1.8. So multiplying out, that's minus 0 0.002, d minus 100 squared. And then I've got minus 0 0.002 multiplied by 10 thousand that's minus 20 oh, but it's a negative actually times by a negative here when I expand the brackets so it is a plus 20 and plus 1.8 so when I put it in the right way round here I've got 21.8 minus 0 0.002 d minus 100 squared so a is 21.8 b is 0 0.002 and C is 100. OK, so we've done that bit. It says it is decided that the model should be adapted for a different archer. The adapted formula for this archer is H equals 2.1 plus 0.4D minus 0.002D squared. So everything is the same apart from this is 1.8 and this is 2.1. Hence, or otherwise, find for the adapted model the maximum height of the arrow above the ground and the horizontal distance from the archer of the arrow when it reaches its maximum height. So the only thing that's different is instead of this being a 1.8 all the way, it's actually a 2.1. So if you imagine this thing changing, so instead of it being a 1.8, it was a 2.1 in all of these places, the whole thing is now just going to be uh, that h is equal to uh, 20 plus 2.1, so 22.1 instead of 21.8, minus 0.002d minus 100 squared. 
Now this is going to tell us about the maximum height and the horizontal distance. So we can see here the maximum height is just going to be 22.1 metres and the value of d, the horizontal distance when it reaches the maximum height, so the horizontal distance is just going to be when this bit's equal to zero, in other words, when d is 100 metres. So we get 22.1 and 100. Okay, we have got the mark scheme. I didn't put the mark scheme in for that one, but it's definitely all the right answers for this. One last question here, which is, again, you can see it's something to do with a quadratic and it's modelling. It says a company makes a particular type of children's toy. The annual profit made by the company is modelled by this equation here. First thing that I would already note is that it is in completed square form. I've done this with students and they love expanding this, but it's already in the best form, so don't change it. It also says that P is the profit measured in thousands of pounds. People always forget this. And X is the selling price of the toy in pounds. A sketch of P against X is shown in figure one, which I've got down here. It says, using the model, explain why £15 is not a sensible selling price for the toy. So the selling price is X. So this is just saying that X is equal to 15. Let's have a look and see if X equals 15, what the problem might be. So if X is equal to 15, the profit would be equal to 100 minus 6.25 15 minus 9 squared. So let's see. It's going to be 100 minus 6.25, 15 minus 9 squared, which is minus 125. It's not a sensible price because we want the profit to be positive. This selling price gives negative profit, i.e., a loss. So this is a this isn't a sensible selling price. That's it. You just need to substitute it in and say you get a negative. Given that the company made an annual profit of more than eighty thousand, so the profit is £80,000, find according to the model the least possible selling price of the toy. Well, remember here that profit is measured in thousands of pounds. So if the profit is £80,000, actually P is going to be 80. So let's just actually find out when the profit is 80. I'm going to use the equation that we had. We we're actually trying to say so we're going to say the profit is 80. We've got 100 minus 6.25 x minus 9 squared. I'm going to subtract um, the 100 from both sides. So I get minus 20 equals minus 6.25 x minus 9 squared. And then I'm going to do minus 20 divided by minus 6.25 which is 3.2. Not going to do any expanding here because I've just got one single x there. I am then going to square root that answer. And I'm going to have my answers will be plus or minus 1.788 equals x minus 9. So my answer is going to be 9 plus or minus 1.788. And I want to know the least selling price. So if we just think about what's happening in the graph here, this is when P is equal to 80. It's going to give me these two different values here. And I want them to be making more profit than 80,000. I want it to be anywhere inside this region that we've got here. So in between these values. So the least price is going to be 9 minus 1.7888. which is 7.211 pounds. But I couldn't sell it for £7.21 because that wouldn't make enough profit. So the least price would be £7.22. And you can check that by substituting in £7.22 into this formula. So I'll do 100 minus 6.25, £7.22 minus 9, 
squared, and I do get 80, 80,000, well, um, let me think, one, two, three, 80,197 pounds 50 for that least selling price there. Okay, the company wishes to maximize its annual profit. State, according to the model, the maximum possible annual profit and the selling price that maximizes the annual profit. So this is B and then C that we've got here. Well, it's already in completed square form. Profit is equal to 100 minus 6.25 X minus nine squared. So the maximum profit is literally just going to be that P is equal to 100, which we should say is 100,000 pounds. And this occurs when X equals nine, i.e. The selling price is nine pounds. Maximum annual profit, selling price is nine. Okay, so that's all of chapter two quadratics. Um, I hope those videos have been useful for you.